Okay, the next te technique we'll do is extension. And there's a slight difference here in that what I'm going to ask Travis to do is I'm going to ask him to shift his shoulders backwards on the bed just a little bit. Perfect. Move his hips up. And you can see that what that did was put him pre-biased into a little bit of extension. So he's got that little bit of lordosis, which sets him into a little bit of extension past neutral so that we don't have to do quite such large movements. Everything about this technique is exactly the same, except the fact that instead of doing flexion this time, we're doing extension. That's important to try and get the patient relaxed. Travis, just move his middle section back a little bit. Too. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Travis was getting just a little bit of spasm there too. I think we had him a little bit too much in extension. So we'll get him relaxed again. Find the segment. And this time we're pushing into extension. And we're doing that sequential movement up and down the chain. And there's one there that's moving a lot more. Just L3, 4, and 2, 3, and 1, 2. Again, very small movements because we've only got two to three degrees of movement at each segment there. So I'll ask Travis to now come back to the middle. And then the third technique we'll do is side bending. And this is a lot less movement, but I think this one is, gives a lot of good information and is also a very good treatment technique, as all of them are, but this one is particularly a good treatment technique. Now this technique is done, the hand will be in the same position, but on this occasion the forearm and the fleshy part of the forearm will come in onto the iliac crest, into that place I call the slot again, between the greater trochanter and the iliac crest. This should not be painful at all to the patient, if it is you're in the wrong spot. Typically people get the bony part of their ulna onto the iliac crest which is painful, or they go a little bit too far up to the greater trochanter and end up sitting on a piriformis. If they've got a hot piriformis at all, they will not like that, you got to be careful because the patient could very easily clench a fist and drive it into an unpleasant place. So what we'll do here is the fleshy part of the forearm will rest on the iliac crest and then it will simply use the middle finger of my left hand between the spinous processes to palpate the segment as I push gently up into side flexion. And I'll go up and down the chain and I'm just looking for a sense that something doesn't move quite as well. This is really only effective up to about L2-3 because the lever is so short that it's difficult to get movement up past that point. But this is a very, effect very effective way of just getting a general sense of what kind of side flexion movement is there. The other way where this one can be done is to actually use the hip as a lever. If, the, if a patient can tolerate it, you can use the lever to get that. I don't think that's any more effective than just doing this technique here. So this is the way I have therapists perform that technique.